Hello YouTube, this is Gary One again. Uh, I just thought I would take a couple minutes to uh, give you guys kind of a walkthrough on how to uh, make devices mount on startup uh, using Linux. Now I'm using Ubuntu Linux 13.04, but uh, I actually made this change in the previous version of Ubuntu and I've also done it in Debian, so it should be pretty well universal. Now in Ubuntu normally, you have a... Uh, application here called disks and in disks you can select a hard drive volume and you can uh, change options like when it's mounted you can say automatic mount options you can uncheck this and then you can go in here and tell it to mount on startup and things of that nature the problem I had with using it uh, with doing this uh, was for some reason I would always get some kind of error and uh, it would not commit these changes to this device uh, so it never actually mounted on startup so uh, what I did uh, was I basically added a line to the startup script rc.local to mount the hard drive when the computer booted up uh, and the, the reason for this is that in Ubuntu starting with 12.10 I believe it, by default it will mount external drives in a partition uh, or in a folder that's specific to that user so like for me it would be slash media slash Marcus slash storage and if say I logged out uh, my wife would not have access to that folder so I would have to go in unmount the drive and unplug it and then plug it back in once she was logged in so she could access the hard drive so to fix that issue all you have to do is go into your terminal and you can do sudo uh, I use gedit but you can use whatever text editor you feel like using etsy rc.local enter your sudo password and rc.local is just that it's just a, a script that's run on startup uh, when your computer starts up and it runs as root uh, now by default it's empty. I added this comment and uh, this command in here to basically say on startup mount this device in this location and I have the permission set on the uh, the drive so that everybody can access it. So this is a non-user specific mount location so that both my wife and myself can get to it. Now when you do it this way you'll notice that there is no little hard drive icon in the Unity launcher over here and for some reason it does not show up to your user interface as an external hard drive although it does show up in the disk's utility properly all you've got to do is go into your file browser and browse to that location and then say add a bookmark and then once you've added that bookmark you can right click your little folder thing here and there will be a link to it so if you're having issues mounting hard drives on boot up uh, so that multiple users can access the drives without the whole rigmarole of plugging and unplugging. That's how you do it. Uh, so yeah, I hope this uh, quick tutorial was helpful. If anybody has any questions or comments, feel free to post them below. And this is Gary One Out. Have a good one.